when we were designing this board game table, and now that we made it only for ourselves, it is interesting how no one comes to us and says that Shelfside has finally made a table. I really wanted a gaming table. And I thought to myself, I mean, how hard could it be, you know, to, to build a board game table? We are not carpenters. We are not carpenters. For the craftsmanship and design overall, we here at Shelfside are very compromising. In fact, we went to Lowe's for the highest quality materials we could find, mostly because economy lumber was too far away. We learned a heck of a lot while building this table. Luckily, no one got hurt, but we did get some really cool footage. And we're having a great time. Just a great time. It's just a really, really great time. Great time. How many days does this take again, Pranav? Yeah, you can clap. Okay. Cool. Um, so, as simple as this looks, this took me a ridiculous amount of time to do. Basically, on the surface here, we're gonna glue and um, like push a bunch of these pieces around it. So these angles here are 60 degree cuts into here, which we can, I think we can do pretty easily with a nice table saw. And then we're just gonna repeat this six times and theoretically it should all mesh like together. That. So you end up having to like multiply and I know you have to do this because it worked correctly. Yeah. That's it, it's gonna be relatively simple. Nice. That's, the, that's the dream at least. It's probably gonna be a lot more complicated than I'm giving it credit for when we start cutting it. Okay. Well, um, but the fact that I have all the measurements here and I can just like mess around with some of the values and it should figure it out for me is good. Get the wood then, right? Yeah. All right, let's get the wood. Yeah. What wood? I was thinking redwood. <laughs> okay. I was thinking redwood. Are you talking about to put your your uh, yeah, your arms like on? Yeah, this armrest. It's a bit thin, right? It's a bit thin. I don't know. Because two of them would be too thick, I think. Mm. How long is this bar here? Eight feet. We need to get two of these bars, maybe three of these bars. So the idea would be, we cut half a hexagon like that, and then we cut half a hexagon like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. In your mind, it was bigger. Yeah, yeah, a lot bigger. Like yeah, four and a half to five. <laughs> this is impossible to fit in here. I I, I don't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the wood, the, the plywood that we got, uh, doesn't actually fit <laughs> in Ashton's car. <laughs> there is no no part of the entrance to Ashton's car that is uh, larger than four feet which is something we should have considered before we got a four foot by four foot square, but not something we did. So my aunt's on her way with, um, with a truck. While we're waiting here, we might as well um, at least draw out some things and see what we can do. So, okay, I think this actually does work as a, as a protractor too, which I did not realize. Okay, so you can line it up. So you have a nice 60 degree mark there. I forgot we were making it too at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. So what are we going to do, Pranav? I think we're going to go in and get a bigger sheet of wood. This is, this is not enough wood for me, man. Yeah, that's the frame. Yeah, the frame. Legs and frame. The shorter pieces are for the legs, the long, the two seven-footers are for the frame. I also finally purchased a goddamn table saw. So I didn't have to cut this entire thing with a circular saw and some really shitty jigs that I made. The first unboxing video something that's not a board game. Look yeah. at that. It looks a little dangerous, just what we're doing in general, but you know. Okay. <laughs> That was uh, kind of rough. It definitely worked though, so I'm happy. Okay, I literally just instinctively paused the camera because I thought I needed to drop in and like run to help you out there. <laughs> yeah. no, you're good, you're good. So I just need something to adjust this to the right angle. I think it's gonna come out to be like 60 degrees. Wow, that is a little bit rough. 
<laughs> I did mess it up a little bit, but it's nothing that can't be sanded down. I hope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, look at that. Wow, okay. dude, that's nice. But this is one corner of the table now. Woo! Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, we cut up all these guys here. I am planing them. I really hope to God this is actually a planer and I'm not an idiot. So these pieces here fit really, really well. They don't fit perfectly right now, but honestly, this isn't too bad. I would be very happy with this. You can kind of see it from the top side if you want here too. I wouldn't be too mad about something like this. This isn't bad at all. I could fill it up with some sawdust, put some wood glue in there, and it'd probably work out. We have pieces that go around like this. This is sort of gonna form the, uh, the outer edge here. So there are two of them here. There's four more right over there. Uh, same exact pieces, they're you know obviously woodworking, so it's a little bit different on every piece. So we have six of them that are gonna form a ring. Um, there's a picture of it that I took last night. I'm sure we can find it, put it somewhere. Um, so this depth right here on this dado cut should be exactly enough to have the plywood, and it's probably gonna be a little deeper than the plywood so we can sand it and like finish it correctly and everything. Day two of building? Day two, yeah. <laughs> okay, time to get back to work. So it didn't, it didn't hurt me, it just Ooh, feels weird. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, the top of that thing whacked my hand. <laughs> Other safety tips from shelf side. Don't, don't, don't do this. Yeah, yeah. Bad idea, not that. Okay. Okay. See how this motherfucker fits. That lines up there. Nice. Oh, pretty decent. Oh, it looks good. Yeah, right? Okay, yeah, look at that. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so this is kind of the idea of the edge here. Wow, that looks surprisingly good. We're just gonna sit here for a little while, just trimming down edges slowly and slowly mm -hmm. until uh, this gets to the, this gets to where all of those are even. Good? Yep, go for it. Oh yeah. It looks like spice rolling across there. It's like, yeah, it's like <laughs> we're playing Dune. It's, yeah, we're just playing Dune, man. Every yeah. game is just Dune. Everything, everything in the world is just Dune, man. Let's buy some launch. We're rich. Spice melange. We're so rich, oh my gosh. <laughs> control the spice, control the universe. Hello, hello. So we have managed to cut these hex pieces. I need to trim a little bit off of all the sides for this. So three quarters of an inch I've marked here. A quarter of an inch needs to be chopped off of here. I think I'll actually be done with most of the table by the end of tonight. Solid, uh, solid, some good wood here. Got some nice solid uh, wood going on here. We're sit you're sitting in your chair, right? And you you have a table, it's like, it's got like four inches of thickness here about, right? You put your arms on the table and how, like what height would that be for it to be ideal? Like, and how much knee space do you want, right? Like you don't want your knees scraping the bottom of it. New green. Uh, last night I finished up some of the rougher areas of this. So fill this up with uh, wood filler and stuff around. Now we have to decide on some heights and stuff. So we're gonna go grab chairs. I'm gonna sand the entire thing down with my trusty pal here. So I'm gonna replace this with the uh, larger grit there. Sand the entire thing down. And then I have some linseed oil to put on um, the edge here. Hopefully that takes well. I really hope that takes well. We're getting close, getting very, very close. I can smell it. Almost done with this guy. Um, done sanding this guy, 
Very, very smooth. Very, very happy with him. Very smooth. Um, you can kind of see the color in the redwood coming out, which is really great. Very exciting. The next step is wiping all of this down with mineral spirits so it's completely clean. Tomorrow, it should be ready to slap some legs on it and uh, send it out. I think this is perfect. That's not bad, yeah. Because my arms rest pretty naturally here. Okay. I can reach at least halfway across the table and grab things. Mm -hmm. I see. It's it, a bit tall. It is right? a bit tall, but not that bad. I, I think an inch yeah. down, another inch down would be perfect. That's fair. On your knees, and then up. Okay. And now, this is the hard part. Very gently. Okay. Bring it all the way over. Okay. Look at that. Oh yeah. Wow. This is a lot more stable than I thought it was going to be. It's actually lower than I thought it'd be. Yeah. But I think it's fine. I like it. it yeah. So just to kind of recap, uh, things that I did on the table. So obviously, since last time, I attached the uh, the pieces, like these side pieces here, to the uh, plywood sheet here. Uh, I made a couple mistakes here and there. We're gonna liberally ignore these mistakes. There's a lot of wood putty involved in this job. So, um, yeah. I'm actually not even sure if I'm supposed to use wood putty in these things, so we're gonna, we're, I don't know, I'll just, I'll put something on there. It'll be fine, I'll figure it out. Underneath the table, you can kind of see the support structure and hinge that I've put into here, so. Um, I'm gonna get covered in sawdust, but you can see the hinge lined here. You can kind of see these bolts, you can kind of make them out from underneath here. They're, uh, they're literally just bolted into the table. I tried like some fancy designs with some hinges and all sorts of garbage, but um, they all failed. Miserably failed. Horribly, miserably, terribly failed. So we are not doing that. Can't believe we're uh, literally two steps away. The problem isn't that the glue didn't hold. Oh, okay, it's here, see? Oh, I just drilled through so the entire really thing. Funny. It's pretty heavy. Yeah. To help them. And then, oh, yeah. uh, and then you can carry it like this. Okay. And then we're going to. Flip. I got it, okay. And. My knees were not bent and ready to go. Wow. Oh, dude! Wow. Dude, that leg just like collapsed. Yeah, I felt. Oh, <laughs> I felt something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Turn. Oh, yeah. dude! Back. <laughs> you okay? Already. Okay. So Another temporary permanent fix. I was always wondering, how necessary are they? No, no, no. They're pretty, they're pretty hard. <laughs> yes. Wait, maybe we, we had the Jaws line one. <laughs> we did it for three parts, not four parts, right? Okay, I see. The four-part one was actually correct, yeah. That was way smoother. Down. Oh, it's it's kind of it's, it's a little bit. Uh, it's, it's, it's it fine, fine. does feel like <laughs> yeah, it looks really shaky. You know what? I'm calling it. This is done. I'm good. I'm happy. <laughs> Let's wipe it clean. It's okay if it's a little shaky. The world's not gonna end. I mean, just get it all the yeah. It's so good. Cool. Hmm. This is disappointing. How? Maybe we stretched it out a yeah, little bit. Yeah, exactly. Because since you're pinning it down like that, yeah. we're just stretching it. Okay. Yeah, why don't you just take a black sharpie and just... Ha, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that pause Isn't it Joanne's place? Joanne's? Oh, Joanne's. In that pause, Did you guys tell Joanne yet? Did you know? tell Joanne? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I told Joanne. She okay. knows. Right. She, she knows. She knows. Me, it's fine. All four of us are going there? All four guys are going there? <laughs> All four guys going to Joanne's. Right. This is the sad replacement for my neoprene. And then the exacto knife? And the exacto knife that I should have had yeah. before. <laughs> we couldn't get the rest of the neoprene, which is really disappointing. So, um, we have one of two choices. The, the first one is just uh, run this along the side like that, you know? Look at that, really pretty, yeah. 
Real great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Excellent stuff. The, the other choice, and uh, the one that we're going to go with, is uh, do this a different day. All right. Um, just to kind of recap from last time, I'm, I, I am not wearing the same outfit, which is great. Put the mat in here. We originally went for a black mat, but Joanne's ran out of the black fabric that I was looking for specifically. This is a perfect replacement. You know, it does, it does exactly what I needed to do. I can pick up cards really easily, and that was the entire point of the mat. So I cut a giant uh, cardboard template of the, uh, of the thing right here, and uh, I cut around the edges. So what I did is I took a long metal uh, straight edge, basically, and then clamped it to this side, and then I just had a giant sheet of wood underneath it, and I basically just cut along the edge. Trim way less than you need, because the neoprene is very, very stretchy, so when you put it down, it's always going to be less than you think. So this is about like four and a half feet of play surface in terms of like the uh, diameter of the hexagon here. On the, the table, table like works. Game. Like it, it actually table works. Table is fully functional. It's kind of it's kind of wild. It's actually nice too. It's not just functional. It's good. Yeah, but yeah. look at all this leg room. Yeah. I definitely would do it again. And I like anyone that's like worked with wood or wants to get into it, uh -huh. if you set this as an end goal and you like build, I would say like a good five projects before you get to here. And when I say build, I mean like cut, finish, stay like the whole nine yards, everything, right? Like like build a full working chair, build like a nice rectangular table first. Yeah. Build like a little box with some dado cuts. Like once you can do all of that, then tackle this table. Build a non board gaming table first. That's a good one. And then do this last, especially this hexagon shape is kind of kind of hard. The hexagon shape is very, very difficult to cut. Uh, I wish I knew a lot of the things that I know now after making this, but all the next projects I make are going to be so great. Learning. So now that we've built the table, how about trying some nice snacks from our sponsor? Lift it up. <laughs> oh my god, I'm right there. We'll, we'll use all of it. Our sponsor for today's video is Boxu. Bunch of Japanese snacks. Let's try them out, dude. Popcorn, there's mochi puffs. Oh, it smells good. Gummies. Does it? It's probably these. Uh, this is vegetarian no. Dang. Oh, wow, that is actually really cool. It says no vegetarian. You just pop it all in our mouth. Clink. Clink. Whoa. Wow. I can smell good. Mm -hmm. mm. Very, very good. So yeah, use our code shelfside 10 at checkout to get 10% off your very own order of Boxu. And one more thing, Pranav. Oh, one man. more is thing. thing. Yeah, there's a, there's a giveaway. They're giving free tickets to Japan right now. So, oh, that's insane. Yeah, okay. so more details on that below. This video is brought to you by our patrons as well. We got... Manuel G, Brian C, Clifford H, Aaron W, Max B, Boyra, Jeremy M, C, Charlie P, Quentin S, Sam S, Travis S, Alvin Y, Vomsi K, Ryan D, Jennifer L, Matt G, Peter Z, Spinner 71, Ryan J, Brad G, Tiamo, Dot, Mark, Mark A, James M, Evan B, Charles P Jr., Josh J, Baspar, Rado, 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 Rado Sophie, Rainier Z, Colin Allen, Hudson T, Pearson B, Omar F, M Y, Ethan P, Bradley J, John C, Gal John C, Galvin V, Dirk S from Angel Collector, S X Co, Alexander L, Rob R, Sendo twenty two, Dave F, Josh R, Pat, Cyril C, Al Wayne, Kyle M, Amir H, Right Left Spin, Keanu S, and Awa Books. We also got our two Mad Lads at cardboard. We got ZL and Jeffo. We all got that guy right there. And we also got our Mad Lady at cardboard. We got Amy. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching this construction of this table. The shelf side table. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Yeah. Bye-bye. Later.